Right, tricky cylinder and sphere problem three. We have a diagram that shows a solid cylinder and a solid sphere. The cylinder has radius r, the sphere has radius r. Given that the total surface area of the cylinder and the total over the total surface over the surface area of the sphere equals two, find the value of the volume of the cylinder over the volume of the sphere. Now the key thing to note is this: a lot of students forget total surface area of the cylinder involves the curved bit and the ends okay so you've got pi r squared here you've got pi r squared here and then you've got the circumference times by the height so that's 2 pi r h for here so let's work out the total surface area of the cylinder over the surface area of the sphere so surface area of the cylinder is going to be pi r squared plus pi r squared, which gives me 2 pi r squared. And we've got to add on the 2 pi r h. And we've got that all over. Um, we're going to divide by the surface area of the sphere. So that's 4 pi r squared for the formula for that. Now straight away we can cancel out the pies. Now what I think is a good idea actually is to factorise the top to make sure you cancel the top properly. So we factorise the top, we see we have a 2r here and we have a 2r here we can take out. That will leave me an r there and that will leave me just h here. Okay, Take the 2 and the r out, you're just left with h. Take a 2 and an r out, you're left with r. Over. Now what we've got here is, let's take 2R out of the bottom. So 2R leaves me a 2 and leaves me another R. Now we can see, we can cancel out a 2R top and bottom. It's quite easy to see. You could only cancel things which are common factors. A common mistake here would be to cancel out these R's, but you can't cancel out these R's because R is not a common, this R here is not an extra common factor. You don't have an R in here. So be careful and only count out common factors. So we know that r plus h over 2r will equal 2. Now, if we, divide, we can get a relationship between h and r, which is going to be very useful. So r plus h equals 2r times by 2, which is 4r. So h will equal 3r. Now let's move on to the second part of the question. So we looked at all the information given to us and we were able to simplify it down to notice something about H and R. Now that is quite tricky and early experience will help you realise you've got to do that. Okay. What you might have done is you may have got to this stage and then you do volume of the cylinder and the volume of the sphere. Let's do that. Volume of the cylinder. So this volume of the cylinder is equal to part of the base area, pi r squared, times by the height. And the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And the trick to doing this question is spotting that if you replace the h with 3r, you get an r cubed on the top and the r cubed at the bottom, and they're going to cancel. And that's where the problem solving and the insight comes in. So if you realise that, this becomes quite a straightforward problem. But if you don't realise it, it makes it a tricky problem. So I'm replacing this h with 3r. So I've replaced this h with 3r, and I still get the 4 thirds pi r cubed on the bottom. We can see we can cancel out the pi. We've got r squared times r, which is just r cubed. Let's just write that so it's easy for you to see. So we get 3r cubed on the top and a 4 thirds r cubed on the bottom. They cancel. So that leaves me with 3 divided by 4 thirds. When you're dividing by fractions, it's a good idea to write it out like this because then you spot that you get 3 times 3 over 4. And if you remember, 3 is just 3 over 1. Multiply across the top, you get 9. Multiply across the bottom, you get 4. So we can see the fraction of the volume of the cylinder. So volume of cylinder over volume of the sphere is equal to. 9 over 4.